Backbone ya mziki na honga ni beat. Beat ya ile ya ile ngoma yangu zible. Ile tengenezo na producer nito power. Of which mimi ndo nilikuwa client. Wow. Si bogi genje vila na claim. And then hiyo pata nasema eti. Ye yeah, ndalika mna concept ya ngoma. Mimi nikiangalia tu hivi. Nasikia tu ni cheke kwa sababu. Umse ajielewi. Mimi nilikuwa kwa studio. 35 minutes before wa come na ni mimi ni record verse yangu bila hao kukua kwa studio na actually hiyo ngoma ilikuwa kwa chorus ilikuwa ikwe chumpa kachini tuko alright vibe zetu pia ziko alright na mimi ni record hiyo kitu na hakuna ilikuwa ni kitu tu nime vibe mimi sijawahi andikiwa ngoma na mzee wote ngoma zangu hata sijawahi andika eti nikuje kwa studio nikiwa nimeandika mimi huandika ngoma hapo weka beat nicheze ngoma una get so Alafu nikawa na mse anajaribu ku mention eti yeye ni wa mtaa ametoka mtaa so anataka tu kukuona na hiyo vibe ya mtaa anataka tu kuambia mayutman msidanganywe na mtu yote atijua ametoka mtaa hata mimi hapa mimi nimeishi nimeishi umoja eh nimeishi nyama vila huko Kayole eh huko 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 Komarok hmm? na jo hizo mitaa zote nimeishi Don Home phase 8 na najua hata kuna wasa wanajua Eh? So msia msia jaribu kuwa confuse mtu amekuwa mamtaa kwa sababu hajawa card enough akipata do to the first thing ata do ni kutoka hiyo mtaa una get so mtu kwa kwa mtaa si kupenda ni kwa sababu ya state of life mali imefika so watu waache ku glorify poverty there is nothing good that comes out of poverty na hiyo ni kitu naambia mageto youth mimi nimetoka mbali hata kuliko wao vijana hao vijana wamelelewa place hata wanaona stima watu wengine hii Kenya wameenda tu wameenda wamezaliwa place hata stima kuona acha hata stima barabara ya alami kuona ni shida lakini hawakui na hiyo mentality ya ku glorify poverty they run away from that thing far that's why they work hard and work smart so another thing nilikuwa nasikia wakisema so you want to mean um, Genja, they have not worked hard enough they have worked hard but not enough to run away from the poverty that's why sasa hizi mentality yao inaonekana wanaona ni kama wanafa kupatiwa handouts kwa sababu wacha ni kupata tu story hiyo mziki vile ilikuwa bogi ganja hata wako na namba yangu wacha waache kudanganyana timi niliwapiga simu nikaomba kolabo hatisi kuwa na namba yao mtu alinishetia hiyo kitu ni msa anaitwa Vance na DJ Lighter mm. after wameongea na hao wakaniambia vijana wanaweza kutaka kufanya mziki na wewe no problem lakini nikamwambia okay hii mziki tunaifanyaje Normally mse mwenye ame invest kwa project ndio inakuanga product ni yake. Mimi nime invest kwa audio, nime invest kwa video. Ule director ame shoot hiyo video, ah vijana waezi mu afford. Ule ni Jordan Hockley anaishi Miami. Alikuwa amekuja Afrika kushoot video ingine yangu. Alikuwa amemaliza akakuwa ameenda South Africa nikamshoa arudi tena. Hata wakumuona director mwenyewe awaliona tu vijana wake wenye alituma wakakaa mkachukua ile scene ya kwanza nje tulishoot pale Kasavera yoko anaweza jua. So nakumbuka huyo hospital shoot. Yeah. And then scene yangu ya pili ni shoot tao huko railway. Hawakukua. Nili shoot the next day. Then how do you expect me to invest all that money and then I come and give you my video? Who are you? Mimi nikupatie muziki yangu, nime shoot na pesa yangu. Mimi si run charity organization. I am a businessman first. And anybody who knows how money is difficult to get, hawezi kupatia pesa yake ama investment yake. Una understand? So it's very simple. Ni kama wewe kioko ukuje ushoot hii hii content unako naye sasa hii and then mse mwingine aende upload kwa channel yake una get okay nilisikia pia wakisema ati to count work enye walikuwa me put in i don't see anything they put in apart from the lyrics you understand but they are forgetting for that video or that music to be complete there was a producer who created the beat he owns 50% kama tunafuata sheria ya split sheet producer ana on 50% of copyright ya mziki and then the artist wanachukua hiyo 50% nyingine which kama wame invest kwa mziki kama hawaja invest kwa mziki ule mtu wame invest anachukua 30% inabaki 20% sasa 20% tunaweza kuwa tunagawana mimi na group yote ya bogi genje wako watu wangapi wako watu watatu sasa so, 30% divide by 3 unapata nini pata 16 hapana si kumi na kitu wanapata less than each per person wanapata less than 5% si yeah. less than 5% okay. so that ndio ile kitu wanafaa kuongelelea niko na swali uh-huh. because hiyo ngoma uliweka yes 
ikaenda missing kwanza alafu mm. ikarudi yes. a few days later mbogi genje wakaeka kwa channel yao yes. what happened okay this is what happened unaona uh, kuna ule kijana wanatembeanga na yeye anaitwa sijui nani hata sijui jina yake jama fulani tu anasema ndio manager wao and i'm sorry to say this guys if you wanna go far as bogi genje avoid that guy like plague hana akili kabisa kwa sababu ya nini huyo jamaa nilikuwa kwanza acha nikupate tu story ya hii muziki vile ilianza so before hata tufike tukurekodi muziki tumalize sasa tufanye audio tufanye video tukifanya audio mimi ni record ngoma yangu the first day that i change anything na nikatoka studio nikamaliza nikawabaya food ni DJ later akawaendea nyumbani akawarudisha tena and they did not record only one person recorded that day i think it's uh, smart thing that record yo zimezible na na guzman aku record alisema atakuja guzman al record yeah, al record yes uh, militan aku record alisema atakuja kwa covers yake siku nyingine you get so after your story imeisha wakakuja kae covers after kama a week siku ya kushoot video ile tumepanga kushoot video wakasema hawata kuja kushoot video wanataka ni wa ni wa pedo kwa sababu nilipa mbuzi gang pesa nikawaambia nyinyi vijana mimi mnadhani mimi na run organization ya charity siwezi pia kila mtu pesa ni kiamo mwenye na pea na pea mwenye nataka una get so kama mtaki wachane hiyo muziki niko na muziki nyingi sana ya kufanya nikarudi wakakubali wakasema wakasema tena ni wa niite wamekubali kushoot nikaita nizo nizo ndiye alikuwa shoot hiyo video nikalipa nizo down payment 50% down payment ya pesa ya video hiyo siku wakati kwa wapigia siku ya set wakasema wanaenda rehearsal za azimio walikuwa wanafaka kwa perform huko kwa azimio kwa event ya baba watakuja baadaye tuka have cancel kila kitu na tulikuwa kwa set tuka and mimi nikaenda hasara tu hivyo na sijai complain nikanyamaza tukasema hawa say bado ni upcoming hawayu uh, yuko professional una get sio story kaisha hapo so tukikuja kushutia pili wakasema tena wanataka ku change verse tena wakarudi studio waka edited hiyo mziki sasa siku ya, ya shoot pia wase wali come tuka tukaka vizuri wakatitua vizuri wakakula wakapiga drink hizo vitu zote zina cost pesa na hizo vitu walilipia wapi hakuna mahali walilipia zote ni mimi nilibea hiyo hiyo cost so when you say you want to own music first think of how much you have incurred as cost of production then you can come and say that this is an investment and then hawa say sasa ile siku nimetoa ngoma ngoma yangu ilienda sana ilifanya ilipata 30k within the first the first 20, 22 hours before akuja ku strike and then that kaboy had the audacity to call me niambia eti una upload hiyo ngoma aje na hujatuambia na kuambia boss na upload aje ngoma yangu i have done collabs with international artists i've done so many songs i don't have to ask for permission once it's my product you understand it's a feature it's me featuring them not them featuring me you understand walisema wewe ndio ulikuwa ulikuwa feature okay kama mimi ndo ni feature who approach to who approach to it is my team that approach them and i didn't have their number you get it so kama ni mimi ni kama ni wao wame ni feature basi inge kwa product yao wange invest kwa product yao mimi si run organization ya charity si ni ukweli so kama una approach mtu sasa ni kuulia sasa hizi ukiona dem wewe kama kioko uone dem ndo ule pale wewe umo approach alafu after one week aseme ndio alikuwa approach ni ukweli those are just lies na naambiaga vijana avoid miadarati usitumie miadarati sana mpaka uko in a comfort zone ya at for you to function when you wake up in the morning lazima ublaze before ukule lazima ublaze when you want to go in a, in a business meeting lazima ublaze avoid those things if those things give you um, creativity only use them when it's necessary stop overusing drugs muki abuse drugs in our fanya munafikiria you have all the rights and the audacity in this world you get it another thing ule kijana leo ameenda kuyap yap mara mingi nikamnyamazia tu kwa sababu me am a very big person i'm a bigger brand than all of those boys so there is no way mimi nianza ku stoop solo nianza kubishana back and forth na wao unajua mimi waambia anga niko na msemo mmoja mimi waambia watu inaka kama joke but in reality it makes a lot of sense you see when somebody akikuja hapa sasa hii akuje hapa atoe longi yake achafue hapa atoe kinyezi atoe hapa atavaa longi yake na atoke naende si ni ukweli hata kumbuka after 5 minutes 
lakini ule mtu alitoa hiyo kinyezi hapo inamkasirisha roho mbaya sana akiona huyo mtu alitoa kinyezi hapa amekaribia hapa tena ile rungu atatoa si rungu ya kawaida atanoa panga huyo jamaa atamtoa mbio that is exactly how it happened those people walianza kuniongelelea vibaya oh sijui kasavera si yangu oh sijui nini mind you guys i know so much about you na nyemi sijai kuja kuongea una get najua vitu nyingi nyenye ufanya nyenye ni ni negative sana una get lakini because i'm a bigger person na naona mnatafuta labda cloud na jina yangu ama mmona hiyo ngoma mimi niliwapigia simu nikawa ile siku alitoa ngoma yangu nilipigia smadi mara tatu hakushika simu yangu nikamtext hata naweza kuonesha text yangu kwa hapa nikamwambia call me back it's krg moja tuone hapa smad smadi hmm? chana ndike bogi genji Uh, smadi eh smadi ndio hii hapa si ndio smadi mg nilimwandikia nini call me back to kirji the don hiyo ilikuwa january tarehe 13 saa moja usiku umetoa mangu after mimi nime make counter claim kwa youtube ngoma yangu ikarudishwa ndio wakakuwa wanantafuta so mimi nilikuwa nawatafuta ikashindikana kuafikia after nimefanya my ways ngoma ikarudi ndio wakaanza kunitafuta pia mimi nikawaambia sina kitu kuongea na wao get once you've chosen violence and you get a bigger violence embrace the battle uki lose battle wacha ku complain complain kama mtoto mdogo so, mm. uh, in the beginning yes. uki approach na mfanya collab mm. what was the argument how are you going to put... it was very simple when you see Uh, kama mbuzi gang vile nilifanya nao mbuzi gang mbuzi gang sasa hii nilifanya nao ngoma nne in total nilifanya ngoma ya kwanza ilikuwa yangu nika ngoma ya pili nikawaambia your product na hata nilisimamia video nikawa video kabisa nikamwambia hii ni video yenu ya mchecheto na hii ni yangu inaitwa dance and then out of that respect nimewasaidia nikawapatia tena collab nyingine na lava lava unajua ile ngoma tumefanya mimi lava lava na na, 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 na mbuzi gang tena after that tukakao tena mimi niko kwa album yao for free una get na sita, see i don't need anything so this is a relationship we build so in the music industry when you do a collab mimi nafanya collab na calligraph si ni ukweli hakunitie anything lakini calligraph akitaka collab in time with me i cannot ask him even for one shilling you understand it is respect because we are colleagues at work you understand so see at wewe uko na agreement ya huyu na ule hakuna agreement in the music industry it's about the vibe if you like my vibe and you feel we can do something same ni kama nyi sasa hivi ile mko hapa sasa hivi ndio sinyi wote ni kila mtu akana channel yake but mnaita naga zile kuna content moto nasema ni aje we come same content different titles but everybody gets his own different views you understand okay,